connected up but literally anything could happen here luckily I'm stood near this new door I've fitted so just clean that off a little bit there's nothing on the back I still need to uh, just test this now as I said I thought there was quite a bit of fuel in there but there wasn't a lot in it and I can't see anything leaking here so I've just filled this up a couple of seconds ago um, I think what I'm going to have to go and do is I'm just going to nip and get my keys and we'll uh, we'll try and, uh, and get this going. Right, we'll give this a couple of quick goes at kicking this off. Uh, I don't think it's going to be successful at the minute. I'll, I'll try it. I need to put this battery back on as well, don't I? Yes, yeah, so I'm rushing about a bit here. I've been uh, trying to do something before I go out, which I never really normally like to do, but I can't really go out without trying it, so otherwise, I won't know. Too many signs of life, unfortunately. So, look at that. I'm just going to pull off the uh, the line for this new fuel cock, just see if anything anything changes. I noticed when I got the bike that that wasn't on. I'm, I'm sure it should be. But, uh, Yeah, it's uh, not exactly a resounding success, but I like to film these things as they happen, and I'm sure at some stage I'll get this bike running again. I might just give it a, a little play, a little go for another couple of minutes, but there's no sign of life there whatsoever at the minute, which is slightly worrying. I've not had a, what I like with the mowers as well, sometimes you just get like a, uh, a couple of seconds where it'll run, and you know there's uh, there's a good chance you're going to have your, uh, your bike running or your mower running, so... Like a song in it, keep you more running, running on the highway. Anyway, let's just have a mess about with these uh, screws. Could be a mower theme tune that one. Anyway, have an um, all time mower top 10. List your favourites below. I'll kick off with that one. Let's have a fiddle about with these screws. Uh, have a couple more goes and I'm going out. Like that, I like that. See, I like that when I get a little bit of a, a lifeline and something just happens where you just think there might be a chance that it'll start. doing is I'm adjusting the screws so I was having to actually hold it open on the throttle to keep the bike running 
I'm trying to keep it running with that way having to hold the throttle over the minute. Yeah, so I thought that might happen. But I've got the bike running which is great. Um, it's not ideal doing it really without the, uh, the air filter on. But I just want to get it running a little bit. Uh, and just get some fuel through it. I know I've got everything back correctly now. I know I've got the needle correct. I know there's no leaks. Um, a couple of little bits of paint coming off. But I know I've had it running. And I've just got to come over the, uh, overcome the problems now. Of uh, setting the throttle. So I was having to hold this throttle open a little bit. Just to keep it running. Which I don't, obviously don't want to have to do. You can imagine what a pain this is trying to do this with the air filter on when you're out with your helmet on and you're trying to reach around the back and adjust these screws but unfortunately without the air filter on I can't get a perfect setting for what I want. Just a bit of trial and error at the minute, tightening it up and undoing it again. And I think this is the problem I've had in the past is with what I'm reading about setting the throttle is I'm a bit limited as to actually where I can set it to for starting the bike because it's such a, a fine balance getting these two screws adjusted properly to actually get the bike running correctly when it's it's started. That I can't alter it too much to actually use it to start the bike, and I don't think really I should have to. I'm going to turn this, this back screw in and just see what sort of difference that makes when the bike's running. Ideally I need to do this tomorrow to leave the bike outside and leave it running so I'll have one last go, see if it can uh, maintain tick over on its own. Right guys, so it's uh, Sunday morning now, I'll just push this out here, um, I'll just put this cam on the tripod actually and we'll just try and start this on the key first of all. Right, so I've not tried this, so I'm gonna, um, we'll try it on the key first of all, give it a couple of goes, if it doesn't work I'll kick it off. Right. The battery uh, sounds quite a bit flat as well. Not surprising this, I'll try and kick this bike off and do what I did last night. I'm trying to start my bike. Well, what, you can come and stand there if you want. You can press this button for me. Press that now, get down off the bike. Press that button. See if you can do it. Any good? No, stop. No, no good. Watch your back then. Step back a minute. Oh, maybe you've done some good. What do you think? You think it'll start? A screw! A screw? Pick it up for me. Pop it on the bench in the garage. Why is it 
Right, so I'll leave it a minute and we'll uh, we'll have another go. Not uh, not the best of starts. Okay, we'll give it another go, mate. Me and you. You don't knock my camera. You go around here, Chad. So you're not going to knock my camera off. Oh, you got to brush your teeth. Yeah, I'll wait for you then. Just going to brush his teeth. No. I've just um, put quite a bit more fuel in here, just uh, above half to make sure there's plenty in here. So you can press the button now if you want. No, I'm going to go. got it running but uh, I've still not overcome the starting problems with the bike so uh, I've just had to change the tick over but I think I'm going to do it this way on is I'm going to put the air filter on and I'm just going to ride it around put the seat back on I'm just going to ride it around a bit just see what it rides like and get it running right as it's uh, riding I haven't been out on it much as you can probably tell um, so I think what I'll do today is I'll put the seat back and the air filter uh, and I'll give this a little test run this afternoon